What's up guys, CW Dude today, back with a new series on the channel. Now, this is something I thought of and I thought it would be such a cool idea to do for a pork series. And that would be base it off SCP-1265. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically, I have like a whole thing pulled up next to me right here. But it is, an SCP is publicly maintained as a wildlife facility in the Congo. It's based, it is, oh crap, wrong tool. But it is a 50 by 50 squared kilometers area that houses a, something that, uh, let me see, it is inhabited by dinosaurs. So, yes, that is the catch. It is inhabited by dinosaurs. So you know what that means. We are going to make a series on it because it sounds like fun. Now, oh, I don't want to have to flatten that entire thing out. No. What? Game be normal. Alright, well, you know what? So, what I was thinking here is we're actually gonna make a pork out of it. But we're gonna disguise, well, we're gonna make sort of a pork out of it. We're gonna disguise it as a pork, but it's also gonna be a research center. Now, I'm gonna have to change it to day real quick because I cannot. Let's just put it at day. Alright, thank you again. I'm gonna put it at day for a little bit just because I wanna actually be able to see what I'm doing, but back to the pork. So what we're gonna do is have this little area right here be disguised as a research, uh, um, a theme park area, but we're gonna have little outposts disguised around every little bit for like research posts for the, the studying the dinosaurs and crap like that. But anyways, let's just get into it because I have actually turned on power crap, but we still have in infinite money. But I actually need to get power because I feel like that just makes it a lot more exciting than whatever it was if I didn't do that. So. Let's get some power going. Now, wow, so let's get to the dinosaurs we have to include in the series because it is actually mentioned in the notes for SCP. So, these dinosaurs include, let me do shift tab real quick, but these dinosaurs include uh, Camarasaurus, Kinchosaurus, Spinosaurus, uh, we don't have Therizinosaurus because that's mentioned there, but we don't have that in the game, Trodon, uh, Pachyonosaurus, which we don't have, Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus, yeah, so there's just a few, we have Spino, I think I said Spinosaurus, Kinchosaurus, and Camarasaurus too, but anyways, let's just get into it, so, I want to, how do, what is this, so, when you walk into a book, maybe you want to have, the, wait, what, so maybe, let's get that going, how do I want to do this, you want to have, let me just go off. Oh, I always start it off like that, though. I don't want to start it off the same as like I always do. But you don't want to go by the power station if you go into a park. So, let's put something right there. Let's get a fence down first. Now, we can use light because it's just... I think the dinosaurs that quote-unquote spawned in. So, what I was planning on doing that for that every time is... Each new episode, six dinosaurs will have spawned in the map, or I will have bred them and they will have spawned into the map. And we have to like associate them with the pork, or we can just have like a giant open area over here. And have little exhibits, micro exhibits for each dinosaur to go in. Because I have turned on combat infinity, so dinosaurs will end up attacking each other in the game. So we can't put herbivores and carnivores together. So, let's get into this though. Now, how do I want to do this? I kind of want to move this. Uh, do I, I like it there. Let's put that there. Now let's get this kind of path make because it looks like a security path kind of. And then we will curve it to meet right there. Now let's get at least one more of these because I know we're going to be needing a lot of power throughout this series. So let's get that going. Put that right there. That kind of rules out. We'll put the putting the exhibit right there, so let's go ahead and pit it's right here. Now let's line this up as good as we can. Now let's go this way. Now, let's see. We don't have to make it too big because it's just pretty sure three Dipodocus and three Dracox for the first dinosaurs that have appeared in SCP-1265. So, let's go ahead and do this. Is that, I don't think that's perfectly lined up, it is not. Let me just connect it from here. Alright. 
Come here, game. We're gonna be we're gonna work normal today. Oh, I think I'm gonna oh I'm gonna have to do that. It's not gonna wanna fit. Is that big enough? I don't think that's big enough. I don't think that is big enough at all. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Alright. Uh oh. I coved it by accident. Ah! Everything is going to crap right now. Oh no. It's, it can't happen this early on in the series. Alright, so let's just make this a tad bit bigger for the dinosaurs. Yeah, but when I was thinking of this, I was thinking of something new for a new series, and I, this came to my mind because I recently watched something on SCP-1265, and I was like, that would be a really unique kind of pork idea, and I'd, I would have a lot of fun recording it because it puts a kind of a challenge to it because I've also made it so dinosaurs can break out during the series, so that should be extra interesting. But anyways, let's get back into this. So, I have a viewing panel right there. See, what do I want to have a viewing panel? I kind of want to have one like right there. And we can just pit a power thing right here. I want to be able to hide the power substation, so. There we go. Now, you should be able to hide that. Can I hide this? Oh, perfect. Let's just hide this. So when you go to a park, you don't want to see the power stations. Now, so you walk in that way. I'll probably make a little rest on it right here. I probably need to make the exhibits. They won't be this big throughout the entire series. I probably made this one a tad bit big. What I'll probably end up doing is have three like large sections for herbivores, and we'll have smaller exhibits based around here for carnivores. Now, anyways. Let me get rid of these trees real quick. I just want to see what it looked like. Come here, trees. Die. Thank you very much. Alright, there we go. Now, where do I want to put the helicopter station? Operations. I think we'll use this left side right here as just kind of uh, the general maintenance. It's not, it's not really interesting. I always get those confused. It's the AC East Center. Like, every time I get those confused for which one it is. Now, go to these trees. There's a J-Crax right there. You can see it running into the woods. Huh? There's another J-Crax. Alright. So, we have a pretty decent sized area to work with, but I actually need to get this dinosaurs in here because, you know, that's kind of what the series is based on. But, anyways, let's put this corner right here kind of and I'll probably end up having a path that runs down this way have this run down here curve in right there this would be like the general just maintenance area for this making sure the park doesn't get overrun by dinosaurs Crap. There we go, perfect. That looks pretty good so far. Looking pretty good, pretty good. Now I'll probably... How do I want to do the shops? I'm just thinking about how I want to do that. You don't have to worry about it right now. But in the meantime, let's actually go ahead and plan this out. So, you want to have... A central viewing area right here, I guess. So you can see them right there. Maybe this cuts in a little bit right here. So you're not going to be able to really see him on this side, depending on what I do with that. And then I'll just put a central water hole right here, I guess. That looks pretty good. And then I'll just put the feeder in here for them. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can finally use Cocodontosaurus in this series. Oh, I can't wait for that. Anyway, so, 
as I said before, the main theory as to why we have the dinosaurs contained and not letting them roam around is because we were researching them and why they have appeared here in uh, the Congo. So yeah, <laughs> I had to think of a reason as to why we would build a park here. So we can get funding, even though we have infinite money, but we'll get funding to make research or do research on them. So you know, like we, maybe they can cure a disease or something. I don't know. Just, just shooting out random ideas right here, but that that's the premise behind it. Now why? No, check that one. This one. Come here. Confirm. There we go. All right, have fun with that. Now, next step is connecting the paths. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. That looking pretty good, pretty good. Alright, so I think I'm gonna put a shop out here, just like a little fast food restaurant. Just so like you know when the workers get off got get off, they get something to eat. And then maybe like a little pond right here. There we go. Raise this up in the back. Add some depth to it. There we go. Alright. Plop you guys in there. I think that's a little too small for all of them. <laughs> Oof. I might have to expand it a little bit more. No, I'll just leave them in there for now, and then we'll move them to a, a bigger, more open exhibit. Like, I'm thinking of making just big exhibits right here, and we can see how they quote-unquote act naturally out in the wild for research. But, yes. That's what we will do. Anyways. I want to mix it up from how we usually do a poke. Now, how do I want to do that? We got the research area right there. Let me just work this off from trees. Keep in mind, I have no expert on SCP lore, I just looked up SCP-1265 and it took me to a website because I just wanted to get some basic, more, some more basic information on it. So I am no expert in the SCP field, so if I say something wrong, feel free to correct me. I have no problem with that, but anyways. It's... Jeez, I... Oh, I hate how loud it is all, like, this is so freaking loud. God! I wish this wasn't as small, like, this place is so small. There we go. Alright. Now let's work on the little failure thing. Do I want to put it right like there? I think I do. Is that going right there? Then this leads to a bunch of shops. Alright, perfect. Because I kind of sections off this area because then I really won't have to worry about it. But I'll probably end up having to add more power stations throughout the park anyways. But that's fine. Now, I need a gift shop. I want to start over here. Yeah, I knew I was going to need a generator right there. Okay. Now, am I going to be able to put something right there? I don't think I am. Toy shop? Actually, I kind of can. Do I like it like that? I do not. Now, let's actually get some food in here because, you know, I guess people need food to live. It's weird. Very weird. But I guess somehow people need food to live. I can actually put something right here, I think. Yep.
No, what? How did it switch to that tool? I do not want that tool. See what you've done? See what you've done, terrain tool? You've made everything look weird now. Gosh. Alright. Let's get this in here. Wrong thing. Where's that look? How does that look? Alright, so you got the little shopping area right there. I might... Could I technically add something down the middle right here? Mm, how about go that way? I forgot to move you. <laughs> it just leaves them out here to die. En route to collect the asset. <laughs> poor... Poor Draco X just gets left out to die. Completely forgets about him. I want to be able to add trees right there. Because it looks so... Yes, okay, good, I can. Because buildings, like, just the back of buildings in this game, they look so bad, in my opinion. Like, they honestly need more decorations. Asset transportation underway. I get that idea. I'll just go along here. There we go. Perfect. Looks pretty good. I like that. Now I can actually put something down here. Ooh, let's put the ball. I don't think I've used this one. Line it up. Anything else I haven't used? Have I used this one? I don't think I have. Oh, alright, that looks pretty good. Why didn't you transport this? Did I not? Okay, apparently I didn't change them all, move them all at least. Crap, I cannot pick trees there. This is not good. Alright, see how this looks. That looks pretty good for a first start to a park. I'm not gonna lie, because we kind of got the essential area all planned out. And I'll probably, in the next episode, we'll probably head down this way. Or we can cut out from this way. Either of the two. But anyways... Looks pretty good. Yeah, but I'm actually really excited about this series. Like, I was... Oh, I... I just... I can't describe it. I was like... I, when I thought of this, I was like, Oh my god, I actually want to play Jurassic World Evolution again. Because I've like... Taken a week off from playing it. I was like, Oh my god, I want to play it again. Because this is... Sounds like fun. That's kind of like a good story behind it. So yeah, let's check out our dinosaurs a little bit. Ooh, why is that being weird? Oh, you're not a good screenshot. Are you? Is your eye closed? Yes, it is. All right, let's just wait for him to get in a better screenshot area. What is that a power? Not that? This substation? Really? I forgot how annoying the substations are. Just walk to the end of here, you'd see a substation. Cause that'd be kind of like a good way to just say it kind of ends here. Now, do I want to curve this off to the side? Yes, I do. I still see a feeder right there. I forgot. I need to get rid of that. Let's get rid of that feeder real quick. Someone placed the feeder there. Oh no. What will we ever do? Oh no, boys. The dinosaurs have evolved. They learned how to feed themselves automatically. Oh god. Next Jurassic World film. The dinosaurs. You just see a bunch of dinosaurs fighting humans with like AKs or something. That'd be hilarious. Can you guys try getting a better screenshot area for me, please? Hey, please, thank you. 
Like, Ordered Diplodocus, I instinctively just go towards it back in the woods. Actually, I need to turn on Day Night Cycle. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, that didn't help. That did not help in the least, jeez. What? Why is the... It looks very weird right now. The textures look very weird. That looks really pretty. Alright, back to this. I need to get a screenshot. In the next episode, we'll have day-night cycle turned on. But I just need to get a screenshot. Oh, come on. Come on. I like that. That works. Yeah, but I will see you in the next part. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. I can't express how much it helps me out. And I will see you in the next part of Jurassic... What, what would we call it? Could we call it... So we just say SCP Prehistoric Reserve Park? Maybe. That, that would be a good name for it. If you, anybody has some suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.